I would say that Sunday's probably my favorite day of the week. I also really like Thursdays. Sundays are just special. They feel slower. I don't feel like I have to rush through much. Even if I have a lot of things on my Sunday to-do list, it still feels more doable and slower. I'm gonna take you through my Sunday. Before I get into the rest of the video, I want to thank Ulick for being today's sponsor. This video took me about a month to make, so without sponsors, they're really hard to get around by. So it's nice when brands believe in me and they want to support my work. I'll tell you a little bit more about it later in the video, but they sent me this IPL device, this hair removal device, and I just wanted to thank them for making videos like this possible, as they do take many weeks to complete. But my mornings start with coffee. It doesn't matter the day of the week. I really like the smell of coffee on Sundays. It just is one of those things in life that brings me so much joy. Once I've made it, I like to head to my meditation station. So after I make my coffee, I like to do a little bit of painting, whether it's meditating, making music, or listening to music, or, you know, actually sitting down and meditating. I need at least an hour when I wake up, if possible. Of course, that's not possible every day, but the days that I can take an hour, I like to do a little meditation sesh, and for me, painting is pure meditation. I would die without art, I would die without painting and music and anything creative, photography, film producing, it's something I need in order to survive and painting is one of those things. It's my spiritual practice, it's my meditation, it's one of my favorite times of the week, month, whenever I can get a chance to squeeze that hour in, I will. So I just take my little morning coffee and I hop right in, just kind of standing in front of it and seeing what happens. I see myself as a vessel when it comes to creative practices, whether it's film, music, or art, and I like to just kind of get the tools ready and sit down, and then whatever really happens, not really in my control, is just kind of outside of my control. Some people like to call this flows, and then just kind of follow my instincts and let things happen on their own, and that's how I like to approach painting. My physical self-care on Sunday doesn't really have a specific timeline. I'll either do it right before bed so I can really take my time, or I'll do it in the morning. I like to do a few masks, I like to do a face mask, I like to put in a deep moisture hair mask and leave it on for like half an hour. Shave, laser scrub, moisturize, all of that is for Sundays. I love it, I love the whole routine. I'll do my nails if I'm missing any, I throw in some self-tan, all of this is for my Sundays. Another part of my self-care physical reset routine on Sundays is doing my IPL. So after shaving, because you have to shave before you use it and before moisturizing, before all the oils, I like to go in with my ULEC and just laser my legs and my armpits. You could use it on whatever areas you need. It's safe to use on your face, it's safe to use on your hands. You can use it for your bikini area. I really like that it takes under five minutes. Honestly, it doesn't even take five minutes. I would say it takes probably three minutes to go over my legs and then to do my armpits. I like that you can take it with you to travel. I like that you can take it to the gym. It's portable and it's convenient and it takes such a short period of time and you only have to do it once a week. I'm around nine weeks in and I've noticed that the hair growth is slower and I haven't completed the course yet. I think it's around 12 to 13 weeks. And then after that, the maintenance is once a month. But so far, I've noticed that the growth is slower and the hair is thinner. So I'll be continuing it. It is absolutely pain-free and if I can avoid waxing, I absolutely will. I do not rate waxing. I think it's so brutal and it hurts so much. So this is a really good alternative to that. There's really no sensation when you're using it. I use it on the third setting. There's five of them and I've noticed results with the third one so I don't really need to go up but it also has a cooling system installed in it so it doesn't burn your skin so you really don't feel much. There's no discomfort to it. You can find the link and the code in my description box. You can use my code which is just my name and last name. You have $90 off until December 31st which makes it a nice gift for Christmas if you were to get it for somebody else if you have any questions you can either comment them below or dm me on instagram and i will get back to those but for the use make sure the area is shaved that there's no lotion or oils on it and then you just hold the button 
after you've selected the setting and you just kind of glide along the area. I like to do it a few times just so I don't miss anything and yeah, I just do this once a week and it's a part of my Sundays or sometimes I like to do it on nights out, like before I go out. It's safe and it's effective and it's FDA approved, it's SGS tested, all the good things to ensure that this device is safe for you. And once again, thank you to Ulick for sponsoring this video. I couldn't spend this much time on these types of videos without sponsors and their help. So thank you to Ulick for sponsoring today's video and let's get into the rest of it. One of the more major parts of my Sundays is cleaning everything, which is where the reset part comes in. I have to just make sure everything is back to its perfect or as perfect as can be state before the week starts, just so I don't have to worry about it, I don't have to think about anything during the week. I know that everything is clean, it's in the right space, everything is stocked up, so I can just grab things and go without putting in a second thought to it. So I like to really get in there, I like to scrub everything, my kitchen specifically. The kitchen is probably the most used area in my apartment and it just gets, things splash everywhere, things get dirty. So I just like to go over everything. My coffee machine gets used the most out of everything in this entire place. So I like to give it a nice scrub every week. I find cleaning to be give so it a nice to clean It's just out such a, good feeling especially at the end of it you're like wow i really did all that i just put on a podcast or i put on some house so i just kind of get to cleaning and it is like meditation on its own it just puts me in a good mood for the rest of the week just knowing that i took that time for myself to you know take care of my space this is just how i show myself that i take care of her by cleaning everything by making sure everything is in top shape and you know setting setting myself up for a good week it's also laundry day, so I like to swap my bed sheets, my pillows, everything, and just go through everything from scratch. Move on to the bathroom, give everything a wipe. My bathroom has the worst lighting, so I can't film in there too much, but I like to go through all of that as well. And then follow everything by sweeping, mopping, and vacuuming. And after that, I can move on to another form of cleaning, which is my most dreaded activity, but is one of the more important ones, is cleaning my makeup brushes. I have this massive tub of brush cleaner that I got, I believe, on Amazon. And it has lasted me probably three years now. And I use it, I would say, at least twice a month. It has washed so many brushes and there's still so much left. This is the best investment. It must have been $20 or less and it is such a good brush cleaner. So I just like to go through all of that. Uh, there, there are times where I will wash every single brush. I, there are times where I will get in the mood and wash every single brush I have, but most times I'll just wash the ones that I use the most, like the ones in my makeup bag that I use every day. And usually that's enough to last me for a while and then once every few months I'll do the whole entire brush care routine. Can't forget my beauty blender, this thing probably keeps the most makeup in it so I like to give it a few washes, I like to go over it more than once, just really squeeze all the foundation out of it. After all the cleaning is done, I like to set myself up for the week, I like to go through my calendar, put everything that I need to do, I go over my groceries and see what needs to be replaced, I go over my to-do list for the week, I like to make a general to-do list day by day, but it's not very detailed, but for the week I will write out everything. I have a section in my Notion called Purpose, which is what I like to realign myself with. It's basically a really long document outlining what it is that I want to achieve and why I want to achieve it. Sundays is also grocery run time. I like to stock up for the week. I don't get a crazy amount of groceries just because most of the things that I consume are fresh and they go bad pretty fast it's just me it's just a one person household I like to keep it pretty low key I'll get a few snacks and most of it is just veggies and fruit and I'll go through that in the week and then after that I just chill it's usually around six seven o'clock by now so I will grab a book or I'll go back to painting or I'll make some music or just listen to some music and make a little tea or coffee and relax for the rest of the day. And that is my Sundays. 